Are you managing large business critical workloads, such as SAP with dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of resources? Are you struggling to apply best practices consistently across the workloads in your organization? Is the thought of a potential misconfiguration keeping you up at night? My name is Emma, and I'm going to introduce Google Cloud Workload Manager today, the latest Google Cloud product for managing your workloads. Managing business critical workloads such as SAP can be complex, toilsome, and error prone. Staying up to date on latest best practices, time consuming and cognitively burdensome. Configuration drift happens and can be extremely difficult to detect in the middle of recurring system patches, upgrades, and code changes. Additionally, maintaining a strong feedback loop is challenging without significant manual toil. Remnant misconfiguration introduced after a late night troubleshooting session can lead to business disrupting issues down the line. Google Cloud Workload Manager is a new compute engine service that bakes awareness of your workloads directly into the platform experience. Workload Manager, available in Google Cloud Console, intelligently detects what workloads you have running, analyzes them against Google Cloud best practices, and provides detailed guidance and recommendations to improve reliability, performance, and overall system quality. Workload Manager is a guided service in the Google Cloud Console. After you enable the service, Workload Manager provides a ground truth view to examine exactly what you have deployed on Google Cloud to identify potential reliability issues, such as misconfigured high availability or disaster recovery, or inconsistencies in application settings across all applications in your organization. Workload Manager analyzes your deployments vertically across the infrastructure, operating system, and application configuration settings. It evaluates configurations against SAP on Google Cloud best practices. What's even better is that the evaluation rules are added and updated as the best practices change, so you can catch up with the latest updates and changes easily. You can use Workload Manager to proactively identify causes of issues affecting performance or availability. Workload Manager provides an ongoing customizable validation tool. You can use it for pre go live checks for new deployments to validate your workloads are configured against Google Cloud best practices, ongoing detection against configuration drift that may be introduced during system updates, patches, and troubleshooting and continuous notification and routing of changes in your workload best practices on Google Cloud. As an example, a database admin might want to use Workload Manager to ensure all of the deployed databases they manage across different projects and folders follow a specific set of standards. As an architect, you may want to receive notification of new best practices to enforce across the systems you manage in your organization. Using Workload Manager is three simple steps. First, select workload scope such as projects and resources. Second, customize best practices. Select from curated list of best practices for your specific workloads. Third, you are ready to gain insights. Over the next few minutes, I will demonstrate how to use Workload Manager to find an issue correct it, and re-evaluate to ensure the configuration is compliant with recommendations. Let's open the console. We start by navigating to Workload Manager in the Compute section of Google Cloud Console. In the subsequent screen, we choose to create a new evaluation. We enter a name for the workload evaluation, such as production databases, we can also add an optional description. I'll put this is production and it's important. We leave the workload type as SAP on GCP for now. Let's continue. Now we select projects we want to evaluate. Let's select our test project. You can also filter by resource names, levels, or service account to further customize the scope. In the next screen, we see a list of recommended best practices. 
you can choose to run everything or opt into a select few. In this demo, we choose the best practices for pacemaker deactivate maintenance mode. This checks for common problems in an SAP application where a software cluster is left deactivated due to operating system or database maintenance. Let's continue. In the schedule screen, you can choose it to run it once or regularly. But let's choose every week and continue. In the final screen, you can review the configuration we will create. If everything looks good, click Create. Now it's creating the evaluation. We wait and reload the screen. Now the evaluation is ready. Let's choose it and run it. The evaluation needs a few moments to finish, so let's see what it looks like when you have the problem. I'll open a prepared evaluation and see what it looks like in real world. In this evaluation report, you see the number of evaluations and issues. So we have one total issue and one new issue. In the report, you see pacemaker deactivate maintenance mode. When you open the details, you see the description and recommendation to fix it. What's great with this report is you can jump straight to the section in the Google Cloud Docs so you know exactly how to fix it. Now let's SSH into the database machine and try to fix it. I run the commands I just found in the documentation. First, turn off the maintenance mode. And let's confirm it's actually configured. Now you see maintenance mode equals false. Now, let's see if workload manager sees the change. It takes a few minutes again, so I'll just show you what it looks like in real world. Here, in the evaluation report screen, you see that the issue is fixed. So you have one fixed issue. You can also see the evaluation history and compare uh, results over time. That's it for the demo. As you just saw, Workload Manager improves overall system quality, saves you time during troubleshooting, and lowers operational overhead associated with managing business critical workloads. Get started with Workload Manager today. If you want to learn more, check out the product page and documentations all linked in the descriptions below. Thank you for watching.